Oh, we... <laughs> we I want you to meet Peter. We don't do it that way. We he will be 94 that. years old next month. Fred's loving life at 82, and Terry, he's the least mature of the bunch at 65. 16 hours a week, just like clockwork. These three take over this quaint, lightly dust-covered woodworking shop at St. Leonard's in Centerville. Men and their power tools. I'm an amateur when it comes to wood. They have been in production here about four years. Well, we got started on this as a small project and it just kept getting bigger and bigger. And, and each became an expert in this massive assembly line of sorts. I, I'm the wheel man. I make all the wheels. Fred makes all the precision cuts. And Peter, well, he will do almost everything but run the table saw. I still got all my fingers. <laughs> Now where to keep them. <laughs> What's going on here is kind of like a symphony. Three friends and their instruments in unison, turning blocks of wood into little wooden cars. Lots and lots of cars. Yeah, it's over 21,000 in it that we've given away. That's a lot of cars in four years. And, and there's three of us. More than 21,000 and counting. Each one of them has four wheels. And that's hard to comprehend that I made that many wheels. But these three guys have never wavered. Never have they not wanted to keep building these little works of art. It's a piece of wood that's made with uh, kind hands and good spirit. What they're doing here is part of what's called Toys for God's Kids. The idea started in Colorado as a way to get handmade toys to kids around the world. Kids who otherwise would have no toys at all. And just last year here at St. Leonard's. We sent cars to 15 different countries plus local outreach programs mm -hmm. and which amounted to just under 6,000 cars for the year. Interesting how they have touched so many lives with old donated scrap lumber. Oh, it's a lot of satisfaction to see the pictures we get back. And when you scratch away at the surface a bit more, you start to understand. These cars are so much more than just a piece of wood. It's been a good thing for me. Peter and his wife Vera were married almost 65 years. I had five children, three of, them, of which are on Medicare now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but in 2010, he lost Vera to Alzheimer's. After that, Peter said he just kind of shut down. Peter sat at home for a year and now admits he was slowly dying. But then these wooden cars came along and saved his life. Well, I kind of look at it that way. Yeah, it keeps me going. Right. You got you to gotta get out and you got to meet people. I mean, you can't sit at home and vegetate. These three friends have no plans of retiring anytime soon. As a matter of fact, with a little help, they would like to increase production. It'd be nice if we get another volunteer. And before each okay. car leaves, yeah, works. Peter gives them the St. Leonard's stamp of approval. And what's just as important goes on the back. Comes out good. Made in the USA for kids half a world away. I think that means a lot shows them that, you know, we care about other kids. To see those kids, their wooden cars and their smiles, they know they are making a difference. And you can guarantee Peter, Fred, and Terry will be right back at it Monday morning. James Brown, New Center 7.